Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In today's video we are going to learn how to test code block. In previous two videos we have learned how to add code block, how to delete code block, but probably the most important thing is to test it, to try it, to see what that code block does to our sprite, our image, our player, our game, our animation, whatever we make. And as you can see on this thumbnail cover image, the only thing you have to do is just click on it. So click it and that's it. Click on any code block in Scratch and it will do something. Sometimes it will help your game, it will uh, do what you need. Sometimes you will have to change it a little bit but the whole idea is to test it to play with it to see what you can use it and then use it in your game or whatever you're making so in our example i had two blocks left on my coding window screen uh, we had more than two but we have deleted lots of those in previous videos so finally all I have to do now is just click on this play sound meow and see what we this cat here do, how it will react. So listen to this now. And you can click it as many times as you want and it will play again. Uh, this code play plays sound great i can use this for my game maybe let me see which what this block say hello for two seconds does it said hello on the screen for two seconds maybe i can find some similar which stays on the screen like this say hello and even better i can click and drag this one on the screen and test it by clicking and this will stay forever or even better i can just click here in this window where all the blocks are so I don't have to click and drag to test them I can test them I think right away here yeah so I can just go and scroll and go one by one and see what block is used for move 10 steps click on it and you can see the cat is moving on the screen and it looks great you can use this to make player move controls something like that this one turns the player turns and that's it you can just play with all of those and learn them that way uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching uh, again just try to play with scratch uh, if you are, are a starter a beginner in uh, scratch and game development in general uh, don't be afraid uh, you cannot make mistakes here if you make one just go click and drag and delete it or right click delete it or press delete on keyboard then if you need it again just click and drag and drop it we have learned all of that in previous video just play with it play with scratch as with the other game engines too uh, don't be afraid to experiment to test that's the best and fastest way to learn not only game development but in general that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in next one bye for now